guys, I'm Leslie. Welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna be decorating my hutch and I am gonna attempt to do it like a home decor store. And let me tell you why I wanna do this. So I go into home decor stores and I love how they have so much stuff sitting on them but yet it still looks good because I will admit that that is not how I decorate. Let me give you a little example. See, I like to decorate where it's just a few things, clean and simple. I really can't stand when there's like tons of stuff all over everywhere. I have a tendency to keep like my areas just super, just, you know, just a few things. So I don't know. Some people just love to put tons of stuff and I really struggle with it, but I'm gonna try today. So this could go one of two ways. I'm either gonna love this because I love it in the store or I'm not gonna love it because I, like I said, I'm not one to have tons of stuff sitting around. I've watched a lot of other videos and I admire other decorators who just really go all out and put tons of stuff, but I just kind of am realizing I'm more of a little bit of a minimalist decorator where I want it to look really pretty and clean and neat because we have to dust all this. <laughs> well, I do, maybe you guys don't, but. And so it's like, I wanna make it like actually livable in my house. So, but you know what? We're gonna give this a try. I hope it turns out really pretty. I'm gonna get started really quick. I'm gonna dust this down and then we're just gonna start decorating and see what I come up with. Okay, first off, I just have this cute little checkered napkin that I kind of have folded as a triangle and I think I'm gonna place this here. And guys, keep in mind, I have no idea if my design is gonna work. And we might have to rearrange a little bit here and there as we go along, and we're just gonna play and see what we come up with. Okay, next up, I have this cute little grass and one of these glass domes that I think I'm gonna put over here in the corner. Okay, next up I have this really cute little like hurricane holder almost and I'm gonna steal these apples out of and put in there. Okay, I'm gonna place that right here in this corner, I think. Oh, those are cute. Okay, next up, I think I'm gonna place this right here in the back. I have the cutest little muffins on a little cake plate. These are so cute and so realistic looking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this um, for the bottom. I don't know, we'll see how the rest comes together and then we'll go from there. Okay, next up for the shelf, I'm gonna start off with these cute little terracotta pots on each side. They're different, that's okay. <laughs> I love yellow, so I think I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of a yellow theme in the middle row here, um, just because it just feels, you know, cheery for spring, and yeah, I think we get this a try. Okay, so I just have this cute little tea mug right here, and I'm just gonna take one of my cute little flower balls and just stick that on top. Right there. 
Okay, I think I really like this. I think this is looking super cute. I didn't know if maybe this was a little too tall, but you know what, I'm gonna go with it because I like the height of it. And if I don't end up liking it, we can change it here in a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna start the upper shelf. I have this cute little lantern. I think I'm gonna put in this corner. Oh, that was a horrible noise. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, so it does have one of these cute little milk jugs that I tied a black and white ribbon to kind of tie in the buffalo check that I have down here. And I did leave it super long, and I'll show you why. And I just have this cute little moss ball that we're gonna stick on top. I left the ribbon long because I wanted to like kind of poof out a little bit up there and not just be straight down. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. I absolutely love this. I think this is so cute. It has such a cute saying. Um, a lot of things that I'm putting on here are things that, you know, I really believe in, like faith and, you know, I love my home. And so different things like that. You are my sunshine. That always makes me think of my kids and my grandson because they're definitely my sunshine. <laughs> Okay, so for this middle part right here, I have something that I want to put together and we're going to have to make because I have really ugly handwriting, but let me show you what we're going to do. Okay, so I have this cute little pot here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cute little chalkboard and I'm going to place it in here and we're going to make a cute little, almost like centerpiece. But this little thing sets too low so no one can see the inside of this. So I'm going to use this cute little cake stand that I have in here to help give this some height and set it in there like that. You know how I have succulents and a couple of the other things on the hutch? I'm gonna go ahead and kind of carry that theme through. Okay, so what do you guys think? Does it feel like too much? Does it feel like how they kind of decorate at home decor stores? Leave a comment down below. Do you guys like to decorate with this much stuff or do you like it to be a little bit more minimal? I would really love to hear kind of how you guys like to decorate. And, oh wait, we forgot to turn the candle on. <laughs> Oh, we're complete now. <laughs> I just turned around and I realized that I was going to place this right here. That's the kind of day I'm having today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, stay tuned. There's another one coming up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye bye.